After we calculate the points for the each asymptote, now we draw uh, the asymptote lines at the semi-log paper. So remember that this is the uh, cycle for each cycle. This paper has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, cy five cycle. So it starts with the 0 0.1 here and 1, 10, 100 and 1000 uh, hertz for the frequency. At the y axis, it starts with the 0 dB and goes to negative 5, negative 10 and so on until it's negative uh, 50 here. So remember that to use this uh, graph paper, you must make sure that uh, the log scale is correct. You see uh, the space for for the left side is bigger and then it keep decrease uh, smaller, getting smaller, getting smaller. Okay. Uh, okay, then we start with to plot the point that we calculate before. So the first one for the asymptote for the FLG. Okay, this is the point that we get from the previous calculation. The, the first point and then the second point. Then when we get here, then you can draw the straight line here. For the second asymptote, the FLC. Okay, for the uh, frequency 0 0.1, get this value around here and then for the frequent when the frequency is one you get mm -hmm. here then the third line okay, for the 0 0.1 we get somewhere around here 50 negative 50 decibel and then for the frequency equal to one we get the gain is negative 30. once you get this three line okay so uh, the asymptote for this three frequency is complete. Next question is to sketch the low frequency response or call it actual response for the low frequency. Okay, the low frequency response can be obtained by plotting the actual gain function in dB. So remember and recall back this equation okay where we get uh, in this is the low cut of frequency and f is actually the frequency here from 0 0.1 from 1 10 100 and 1000 then when we calculate okay the voltage gain you substitute the low cut of frequency so we know that from the previous question the low cut of frequency is 31.73 hertz and then uh, use this formula to get the gain here by vary the frequency here. So it means that 31.73 divided by 0 0.1 and then we calculate this one and get the answer like here negative 50.03. Then next 31.73 divided by 1 and then use this formula to get the gain you get negative 30.03 dB and continue until you finish uh, frequency 1000 frequency hertz when finish calculate all the points now you can plot this point okay you can plot from here okay uh, at the frequency 0 0.1 okay the point is at 50 negative 50 db and then for the frequency equal to 1, the point is negative 30. 
frequency is 10 and the gain is around the negative 10 frequency is 100 Hertz and the point is uh, around here one or something okay and then when the frequency is 1000 is nearly almost a zero DB so when you plot uh, this point then you draw this line follow the point and you get the curve so this is the response curve then don't forget to mark the negative 3 db point here because we know that uh, you find here negative 3 db where is negative 3 db you can estimate here so this is the negative 3 db means that the low cut of frequency start here okay between 10 and 100 hertz In this graph, I combine all asymptotes and actual response in one graph. So actually, you have to do same like this. Uh, the previous uh, slide, I show you just step by step how to draw the asymptote and how to draw the actual response. But actually, the final, the final uh, response that, you, that I want is like this where there, there, there are the asymptotes and also the actual response. So we can see this is the uh, response for the low frequency. And here, don't forget the negative 3 dB point.